Hello, my name is Mietek Schwung and I'd like to present to you the Bard Meat strategy for playing Arleon in Songs of Conquest. Why meat? In a different game. Heroes of Might and Magic 3, players would employ a strategy where they would split their low tier, unimportant units into stacks of one and use those stacks to surround their archers, clog the battlefield and kite the AI around. The unimportant units, usually weak melee guys, were affectionately called Mienso in the Polish heroes community. And Mienso is meat. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is a very different game. In it, you could have 7 stacks of units on every hero from the get-go. That is not the case in Songs of Conquest, but there is still some inspiration that can be gleaned from the way of the meat. In this short and hopefully savoury video, I will show you a redux of me conducting a little test where every level up on my main hero, I pick the command skill for more slots, build a new slot with a single bard or a troubadour, and use my musical meat to buff defense and quickly gain essence. In case you're unfamiliar with bards, they have an ability called Fear No Foe, which grants friendly units plus 5 defense. There is nothing more about the skill in the tooltip other than that it costs the bard one movement and ends the turn, so I can only assume it lasts until the end of combat. This ability is the main reason why I wanted to try out the strategy. After gaining some critical mass with barred slots, we start seeing what the strap does and if it's any good. In this part we set up 3 stacks of 1 bard each in the knight's way to make it hard for him to move around and attack anything of value to us. It does what it's meant to do since the knight stops to kill one. The types of essence created by bards are chaos and creation. What this allows is the easy use of Chaos Step, Rock Barrier and Swap. Rock Barrier in particular can isolate parts of the map from enemy melee troops, when combined with the numerous stacks of singleton bards. A neat trick you can do with Swap, when you have lots of bards one after another in initiative, is to move one single unit stack to the edge of where it can still be swapped with a big stack, and later, during the turn of your big stack, you swap it in and hopefully reach the enemy squishies. This can be a really nice burst of movement. As for Chaos Step, if the almighty RNG favours you, it can extract your archers from tricky positions, give them the last bit of reach without taking the 50% damage penalty for walking before shooting, or let your melee get where they otherwise wouldn't. It's easy to miss how good this spell can be just because it's random. Consider this humble footman as he reaches the Aurelian Scholar 8 hexes away in just his first turn of combat. Quite nifty. Splitting units into ones isn't some big original idea. I'm sure most of us do it regardless of our faction and troop of choice. Picking bards isn't broken or anything either, but I love the thought of trying to translate a strategy from an old game into a strategy for a new game. Right now I'm having a lot of fun with playing Songs of Conquest and fiddling with sharing my experience online. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or check me out on Twitch, link in the description. I hope to meet you again in my future videos. Have a great day. Bye.